Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm really really excited to share a special comparison test for cosplay. Well, no time to waste, so let's make it, let's print it, let's get into the video. My name is Alessio and this is Pixel Forge Lab. I printed two Iron Man faceplates, one in standard PLA and the other one in Polymakers Cos PLA, which is today's sponsor, but we'll get to that later. Polymakers Cos PLA is a filament designed specifically for cosplayers because it's easier to sand and work with. In this video, I'll show you the entire process of dry sanding and wet sanding these faceplates, comparing how each material responds and giving you tips on achieving that perfect finish for your cosplay props. Let's dive in! First, I start with the 120 grit sandpaper. For the standard PLA faceplate, it took 4 minutes and 29 seconds to reach a preliminary smoothness. Whereas the COS PLA responds more gently while the COS PLA finished in just 3 minutes and 55 seconds. You can see the PLA shows more aggressive marks. Next, I move up to 280 grit. The standard PLA requires 2 minutes and 18 seconds for further refine the surface. While the cost PLA took only 1 minute and 53 seconds. The difference is clear. Cos PLA smooths out faster and more evenly. Now I switch to 400 grit. Sending the standard PLA took 2 minutes and 11 seconds. compared to 1 minute and 50 seconds for the COS PLA. At this stage, both materials are looking better, but the COS PLA is maintaining a slight edge in terms of speed and smoothness. To further test how each material handles sanding, I applied a more intensive sanding pass. I noticed that the sandpaper on the standard PLA clogs much faster than the COS PLA. This means that while working on PLA, you will likely need to replace your sandpaper more often, adding an extra cost and effort. Cos PLA not only sands faster, but also keeps the sandpaper cleaner, which is a big plus for efficiency and expenses. But before moving on, a huge shout out to our sponsor Polymaker. Their Cos PLA is engineered specifically for cosplayers, making it incredibly easy to sand and achieve a flawless finish. If you're looking to upgrade your filament for your cosplay projects, head over to Polymaker's website, the link is in the description below. You can tell behind my back what I've done with helmets and cosplay, so trust me, once you try Cos PLA, you will appreciate how much easier and cost-effective your post-processing becomes. Next I move on to 600 grid sandpaper. Sanding the standard PLA took 1 minute and 46 seconds while the COS PLA reached a refined finish in 1 minute and 37 seconds. At this stage, both faceplates are noticeably smoother, but the COS PLA continues to outperform standard PLA in both speed and quality. 
And now let's move on to the wet sanding. And hey, drop a like if you enjoy wet sanding like I do. I begin with 1000 grit wet sanding on both face plates, working carefully for about 2 minutes on each. The water minimizes dust and helps create a uniform, polished finish. Watch as the finer scratches vanish and both surfaces start to shine. And finally, I progress to 2000 grit wet sanding, dedicating about 2 minutes on each faceplate. This final step meticulously smooths out any remaining imperfections. By the end, the Cos PLA faceplate achieves an incredibly smooth and refined finish, while the standard PLA, although much improved, still shows a few minor marks. Now, let's take a deep look at the final results. On the left is the standard PLA faceplate, and on the right is the Cos PLA. It's clear that Cos PLA is noticeably smoother and easier to sand it, reaches a high quality finish faster and with less wear on your sandpaper. This efficiency not only saves time but also reduces costs in consumables, making Cos PLA a fantastic choice for any cosplayer looking for that professional look. So, what's the verdict? Well, for Cos PLA projects where a perfect finish is essential, Polymaker's Cos PLA is a game changer. It sends faster, leaves fewer scratches and even saves you money on sandpaper. If you are ready to upgrade your filament, check out the link in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments down below. And if you found this comparison helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you in the next one.